Ding M. Now, therefore, get 
her for me to wife. Did you see that in your Bible? Get her, get her, bring her to me. Then his father and his mother said unto him, Is there never a woman among the daughter of thy brethren? Question sign asks. Mm -hmm. uh, among all my people that thou goest to take a wife of the uncircumcised Philistine? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Samson said unto his father, Get her for me! For she pleased me well. But his father and his mother knew not that it was of the Lord. Is anybody see that in their Bible? Yes, sir. But his father, his mother, knew not that it was of the Lord that he might saw an occasion against the Philistine. For at that time the Philistine had dominion over Israel. Let me give you the five and six. And then when Samson down and his father and his mother to Timnah and came to the vineyard of Timnah and behold a young lion roared against him. Watch this. And the Spirit of the Lord mm -hmm, uh, came mighty upon him, and he rent him as he would after uh, rent a kid. Wow, a lion in contrast to a kid. And he had nothing in his hand. But he told not his father or his mother what he had done. And he went down and talked with the woman. And she pleased Samson. I like that word. Please, Samson. Well. Um, <laughs> the, purpose, the purpose of God is not sure. Is that true? Amen. And sometimes you and I, my brothers and sisters, does not know what example, example, the ending of September will be, the 15th of September. And now we can start say, the second of September. Talk to me no man, you know, talk to me. Talk to me no man. You know not what the tomorrow would hold, not you? Because I was blown away right here. But his father and his mother knew not that it was the Lord. So sometimes we want to make some choice for our sons and daughter and grandkids and kids of a kind and so forth and so forth. But you don't know what God has in store for them. And so we find now that the key context of the subject matter here is that the Philistine was like they were the ruler for Israel. They didn't have Israel like a, a yo-yo. They, 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 they come to the farm, they take what they want and go because they could not fight the Philistine. And so, for the purpose of God to continue to stamp the approval, God raised up a man by the name of Samson. And although the mother and the father would disagree, he says, why not you take a wife from your own family kind, from your own neighborhood, from your own country. You're not talking to me again. You're not talking to me again. And, and so, and so it, it, it would be a miss of them to see Samson going astray uh, and to get connected with uncircumcised Philistine. You know, I help you preach today. I'm coming yes, yes, down your street. Yes. Because sometimes the choice your mama make uh, a wrong choice. Yes. Sometimes the choice for papa make a wrong choice. Yes. 
Because God already had it planned out that Samson had to get connected with the Philistine, the daughter of the Philistine there, yes. to get inside of the Philistine territory. Amen. Notice now. So the first woman here in Samson's life was a woman from Timna, a Philistine town by God from Zora, despite the dominion and power that the Philistine have over Israel, lo and behold, Samson was a giant. Yes, yes, yes. They did not know that Samson was a giant. Samson, a lion roared in other words, against Samson, he has nothing in his hand, but he's used his own beer and and torn the lion like a chicken you tear it in pieces. Because of the supernatural power that God has dominion upon Samson's life. The Bible says, the Bible says, Samson went down and his father and his mother to Timnah. They came to the vineyard of Timnah, and behold, a young lion rode against him. Then Samson and his father and his mother to Timnah. They were privileged up and now they go in because they make up their mind that Samson said, that's the woman I want from the Philistine. Mm -hmm. And because that's the woman the one from the Philistine, you can do nothing about it. Because even if you are trying to build the wall, I as possible, Samson, will go over it yes. and go there. Amen. So you put in your mind of sometimes you put up God wheels, but God wheels going to break down. Yeah, I like, I like it silent. I like it silent. I like it silent. Because sometimes we all go over the fence because what me see, I know it, you see. <laughs> Verse 4 says, but the father and his mother knew not that it was of the Lord. Oh, wait, uh, sometimes the Lord purpose it so hard for mama to release the daughter. I release the son. Amen. And so the hours come when then Samson went down. One and his father and his mother. Verse 5, please. And came to the vineyard of Tamna, and behold, a young lion rode against him. And watch what happened. The Spirit of the Lord, do what? Do what? The Spirit of the Lord came up mightily. Oh, I like the word mightily. That lion have no chance against Samson. It's not Samson, it's the Spirit of God. That's why it incumbent that believers should have the Spirit of God dwells in you richly and fervent that you have might and power in your life and in your conduct, in your walking and in your uprightness. The purpose of God is in play right here. Uh -huh. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him and rent him as he would have rent a kid. Yes. And he had nothing in his hand. Sometimes we as believers, we don't need nothing in our hand to rebuke that demon that's coming against you. You better speak to me now. And, and, and sometimes we, 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 we make the things of this world sometimes suppress you. And you got to rebuke it. Amen. Why are you going that road, Pastor? It happened to all of us. Oh, you know what? Speak to me now. I don't care what title you have. Because the adversary work up on your mind. And sometimes you are driving and you high, you high, you high. It's so deceitful. And because you see the Pepsi Cola, and it, 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 even if it twists up your high seat straight. True. Because it's what Samson see. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him and rent him, and he would rent at a kid. And he had nothing in his hand, but he told not his father or his mother what he had done. Why Samson did not make the revelation? Because Samson, in other words, I hear from God. Ah, yeah, yeah. To go to the Philistine. 
You don't know what somebody is hearing from God. But all of a sudden you're telling him no and you say, God, I got to make up my mind to go. Look at it, you know, it's a purpose of God to open the way that the Philistine no longer will be perplexity in Israel life. God said it right here. And he went down and talked with the woman and she pleased Samson well. Yeah, you know, and speak to me. You see, it's not you. I'm talking about Samson here. And if it please her, it please Samson too. Yes. So what next? Then the Bible give me the answer. And after a time, he returned and take her. And he turned aside to see the carcass of a lion. And behold, there was swarm of bees and honey in the carcass of the lion. He said, lion, he said, lion. And he took thereof his hand. Mm -hmm. And do what? Look at your Bible, please. Yeah? And went and eating and came to his father and mother. And he gave them and they did eat. But he told not them that he had taken the honey out of the carcass of the lions. Hallelujah. Because when you don't know, you don't know. Uh, the same carcass lion. Now, bees go make honey for Samson. It's all about Samson here. Because the purpose of God stands sure. Because God is working out his will. That when the hour has come, Samson see one will suffer the consequences. Yes. Amen. Amen. So his uh, father went down unto the woman. And Samson made there uh -huh, a feast for so use the young men to do. And it came to pass when they uh -huh, saw him, they brought 30 companion to be with him. What a la 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 la. What a bam bam. As we notice, the purpose of God begins to work out in Samson's life. Sometimes it find it hard when things happen to us. But what we don't know is that God is working out a purpose in your life. Sometimes you have to go through the fire yes. furnace before you come out as cool. Yes. Oh, you know, and speak yes. to me. Yes. Don't let nobody fool you. Yes. You see them pretty ring and people think that it has to go through a process. Yes. And after the process, the purpose will kick in. Yes. Then I will call a young man by the name of Joseph to this time. Yes. And Joseph will start testifying clearly. When he rise up, and I speak to you last week on it, when he rise up and told them the dream, and many times I heard preachers said he should not tell them the dream, but I'm saying, Joseph, you did the right thing to tell them the dream, because now they change his name to dreamer. After that, he sent them, sent him with some product to, cat to give to them that working in the field, and all of a sudden, he did not find them as chicken. They gone all the way to Dothan. And lo and behold, he see somebody and he say, did you see my brother them that was working in the field here? And he told them, and he said, they all the way gone over to Dothan. And Joseph makes sure he went straight there. And the Bible says, when they saw Joseph coming, they say, here comes what? The dreamer. And notice here, Joseph, not only dreamer, oh yes, yes, he's an architectural engineer. And they did not even know that he's going to be a powerful servant in Egypt. Yeah. They only see him as a dreamer, but they never know that he was the deputy prime minister will be. <laughs> and the Bible says, when Joseph reached to them with the supply, they took the supply and they eat. And when they eat and fill their stomach, lo and behold, they start to pat say, we're going to kill him now. Because the dream that he dreamed, we're going to be servant to him. You know, some people don't want you to be them boss. 
No, no, no. Because they have a bad mind. A bad spirit. And don't kill all the young man or the young woman uh, that God raised up. You can't stop. He or she if God said that young man going to be prime minister. True. True. Oh, I hear two no more clap. I say you can't stop it because when God said it, I saw it go. Amen. And so we know this scripture quite well in Joseph's life. And after they threw him in the pit, Reuben wasn't there when they threw him in the pit. When Reuben came back, Reuben said, what happened to Joseph? Oh, Lord, uh, Joseph is in the pit. But the same one that said, take him out and sell him to the Midianites, which is their cousin, uh, yeah, and head off to Egypt. But anywhere you go, your blessing follow you. They could have put you in the pit for one year, you're coming out. Mm -hmm. Because your destination is Egypt. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't forget when you reach there, you still have a problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the choice come when Pharaoh and his host come out and they make a choice of Joseph. Take care of his house. And lo and behold, taking care of his house, little did Joseph know that there is a Delilah in the house too. Yes. Huh? Ready to deceive. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, Mrs. Potiphar, Mrs. Zuluski, <laughs> don't take her eye off Joseph at no time at all. She have a burning desire to lie with Joseph. You know, answer me now. I said she have a burning desire to lie with Joseph. And it seems like Joseph's life was happy, but all of a sudden it turned upside down again. And one day the Bible says, the Bible says, everybody was out. No one behold, she says, today. It's, it's the Bible said it. Today. And you already got Genesis 37, 38. It's right there. Today. Today is my day. And I don't care who gonna stop me. But today is my day. And the Bible says, Joseph was you going according to his fiduciary duty. Lo and behold, she showed up. Have you ever never want to see that person yet, but I am sure? Yes. yes. <laughs> Have you ever coming out of your house and you already know that person is a perplex and a pain in your neck? Yes. And all of a sudden you open the door, Lord God, and you and him I make four. And sometimes you have to turn back when the house because I know I'll come on see your time. <laughs> You don't want to come out same time because Mrs. Zuluski is a pain in your neck. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, and, 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 and Joseph was doing his fiduciary duty. Lo and the old, she grabbed from Joseph's coat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, how oh, oh, can uh, me lose one coat already and this one is about to go again? Joseph make sure he'll back it up and give her. Mm. And Joseph was running for his life. And she says, this is not going to stop me. When my husband came back, I'm going to make sure I've exhibit A as evidence that you attempt to rape me and I hold on to your coat. And she cried as much as she could cry. Lo and behold, the Bible says the news flash when the husband came back. Joseph now has to stand trial. Purpose is that Joseph has to go into Because the butler and the baker must dream. Yeah, and the Bible says they dream. Lo and behold, they tell him, uh, 
uh, Joseph the dream. I said, tell Joseph the dream. Joseph make clear in tell one that you're gonna lose your life, your eyes. Fear of gonna kill you. The butler remain and said, ah, I might as well ask him to. Hmm. Sit down and tell Joseph exactly the dream. Joseph said, oops, you're gonna restore to your job. You're gonna get back your position. Ah. And the Bible says, Joseph says to him, remember me when you go out back to your job. Mention my name to Pharaoh. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when he restored to his job, not in the remembrance. Mm -hmm. But God no want nobody to help you but God Almighty alone. Because sometimes when people help you, they help you down. But when God is on your side, you don't have to worry because when he take you out, he take you out as pure gold and nobody can say I needed help or make you come up here so. And everybody that he can think of, he said, call them because he has to get the interpretation of the dream. Oh, 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 yes, oh, yes. But lo and behold, all of them come, they can't interpret the dream. Lord God, and the little man said, Oh, oh, master, old oh, king, live forever. I, I, I want to recall, I was in prison and this, 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 can I use a term? This guy uh, that, that is in, in prison, uh, he, he, he's a Jew, he's a Hebrew. King says, what? Yes, he can interpret the dream. I, I just got the email. Sometimes some people are trying to hold you back, but they can't stop you. They can say all manner of evil against you, but they can stop you. They can dig out the people but you're not going in it because God already went well, and dig it out that fully it up back. Yes. And so Joseph now, the king said, make haste and bring him. Make sure him beard and shave and dress up. Did you know, say, I dress my dress up, he come take second in command. You never know that. He might leave from prison to the palace because when God opened you leave it out of prison, go straight to palace. Amen. And the Bible says, the Bible says, they sent God <coughs> Joseph and said, they said, make ace, make ace, Joseph, because the king require your expertise now. Go get your bait, boy, and get ready because you're going before the king. And listen to this. When Joseph reached, and the king says to him, I have dream a dream, and, and, and A and B and C, and Joseph says, it's not high. Is a living God alone can give interpretation of the dream. You see, when God bless you, don't talk about I, talk about God has been good to me. He's good to me in the valley, and he's good to me on the mountain top. Therefore, I can't take no praises. I got to give all the praises to the living God. I got to give all the worship to him. Therefore, then I got to make my prayer to God before I interpret the dream. And king, 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 let me hypothetically, king would say, take all the time you want. All I need is the interpretation of the dream. Can you imagine astrologists and all of these scientists them that connected to the source of the Egyptians them? Because in Egypt, you have so many gods. I think they will say over 400 different gods in Egypt alone. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh yeah, yeah. And therefore now here comes the tree, seven year plenty and seven year famine. And after it take place, the king said, hold up there now, we're going to need somebody to take care of this problem that we have. And the whole boat meeting. Can you imagine you went for interview and them have the whole boat meeting and all kind of meeting. And when they look up and name and look up and name and they said, no, 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 no. This one, this, this, this one, we're not taking this one, we're not taking. No, but somebody said, but why not take this one? Uh huh. Why? No Russian line inside here. Thank you, Jesus, no Russian. Why not take this daughter from. Uh, uh, Russian family, um, 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 um. not so. No, but she not have no degree. She only have a high school diploma. Well, I believe she she gonna do good. The, the chairman of the board of directors say I believe he gonna do good. Okay, I better take Russia from, from, from the boss. Approval. The king said, nobody else but Joseph is going to take to do the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And everybody agreed. They said, yes, who else could it be but Joseph? Because it's not them. It's about God making the choice from Joseph from before birth. Amen. Your life has been designated before times you hold in church. Don't let nobody fool you. And no devil can stop you when God bless you. No pick can stop And lo and behold, Joseph now, second in command Amen. to the king. Amen. Can you imagine second in command? And now Joseph has to change clothes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, you, you know what I'm mean? Joseph has to change clothes. Mm -hmm. yes. You have to put on a second in command robe. Mm -hmm. uh, those days, you know, your Rolex was out, and you can't want to be Well, you know what? Talk to me. The Bible says, you might want to watch a ring and chain a rope. Go go read it, man. Yes. Purpose and sure. It have on the seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and are called according to his purpose. Amen. Because God know you, know you, know you, know every one of his children. And sometimes you have your own self account on yourself. Mm -hmm. And God have to remind you who you is. Amen. And lo and behold, lo and behold, famine break out. And everybody got to come see Joseph. Everybody got to knock on to Joseph. When you go to the king we're in charge, he said, no, go to Joseph. Uh, uh, Joseph, Take care of that. Joseph, you responsible. Joseph, can you imagine? Now, now, the brother Ruben, Simeon, Levi, all of those brothers now have a clue now. And the father said, we, 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 we're about to die from hunger. And I heard that corn is in Egypt. Can you imagine? I heard that corn is in Egypt. And guess what? They head off with their money to go get corn. <laughs> but my God, when they reach there, them see this man. Can you just don't go see Joseph so you have to go through a process? You can't see the deputy king or whatever terminology you don't. And just go see. No, but. but Dubai. Can you imagine when Joseph looked for Simeon, Levi, Naphtali, and Simeon now and then just got him mm -hmm. And can you imagine when Joseph saw them? They don't know who he was. They don't know or recognize who he is. Can you imagine some people mess you up and throw you overboard and think you're dead and all of a sudden you're driving one Lamborghini? <laughs> oh, you know what handsome yes. is? You know some people count you up before you're in like the fight. Did I tell you that? Yes. Uh, and, and 
even on the job. And, and, and when God shift you from the job there, and when them think you will die for hungry, God open his hands and satisfy every living creature. Because some people don't want to see you up. Oh, they want to see you down. The Bible says when Joseph see what is happening, and he said, my God. Can go test them. And then he begins to ask him questions. And so he says, no, I can't say no more like you. That's all I'm fine, you know. And you have to go bring Benjamin, and you have to go bring this. And he said, no, no, my father. <laughs> he said, no, 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 no. no. Uh, yeah. And, 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 and he didn't give him all this command and put back all the money and something like that. Can you imagine when they go up and tell that? He said, up till now, they don't know his who. They said, the man, the man. Says he only want to see Benjamin. Choose he said, but you don't say what to lose. Choose one, him. one bread already. And Benjamin, that's only the two child of Rachel, the lover of Jacob life. And Joseph asked him next friend. <laughs> The Bible said, the Bible said, the Bible said, can you imagine when the, 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 the father, it, 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 the father mine? Because not only that, but even when they take Joseph coat and kill a kid and wrap it in blood and take it to the father and say, wild beast has eat Joseph. And the Bible said the father wept bitterly. Those guys no, have no heart. But don't forget his purpose is operating. Amen. They could give the father stroke, so true. Yes. And so, and so the Bible is clear. As we will continue to pick it up and purpose. When purpose knock on your door, nobody stop it. Nobody can hinder it. Nobody can derail it because purpose stands sure. Yeah. And why it stands sure? God have a seal upon every one of us life. Yeah. Oh, you know, and speak to me. I say God have a stamp approval on every one of us life. And nobody can break that seal. If God say you're going to walk in your purpose, you walk in it. And if God say your purpose will take you to the next level, nobody can stop it. I don't care how mean you the job look, but when God ready to lift you out of the pit, He's gonna plant your feet on higher ground. Amen. Nobody can derail your purpose. Only you can try, but you're still not gonna succeed. Amen. Because I, I think you Samson tried his best because in those days kids would obey their mother mm -hmm. and their father. But Samson made it clear. I love her. Yes. Uh -huh. And so God is working his plan out for Samson life. And one more I'm going to give you that when you go home, you're true on it. Can you imagine? There was a little boy there that lived in the house that Tom was on. And, 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 and he says to the little boy, show me where all the Philistine lords is seated. Now he loses his eyes. We'll be going deep, go deep in it, but I'm giving you this to go with me. He loses his eyes. Now he cannot see. Mm. So he makes sure he asks that young lad to show him where the Philistine Lord is seated. While they were using him as a mule or a donkey, and if he grind around, guess what? He stopped by and prayed in his heart. You better come, come, come now. He stopped by and prayed. Can, 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 can we can use a prayer? Oh, blessed God, God of Israel, create and sustainer of the universe. God in whom I live and move and have my beam. I turn my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord God who made heaven and earth. Can you imagine?
imagine the Bible says Samson here start to grow. You know what? Speak to me now. You know, Delilah might only can trim off the ear, but Delilah can't make it grow back. Delilah can't only cut off the ear, but Delilah can't make it come back. manifested back and the Bible says while the ear begin to manifest and come back Samson's strength begin to come back help me not church the strength of the Lord is in the almighty God and therefore he has the strength now and when he reach at that place and I believe when he make that thunder all the gods of the Philistine tumble and die the Bible says Samson kill more in his death more when he was alive. Amen. Amen. And so purpose stand sure. It have on this seal. The Lord know them that are his. I just got an email. Remember that purpose of your life before you were conceived. Yes. Before your mother and your father even were born, God already purposed it out. Nobody else could be your mother or your father but that said woman or that said man. True, true. Oh, yeah, two number two in a yeah. church. Oh, yeah, that, that not sound like you did have. And I, I, I rang mother, you get that. Mm. I, <laughs> I said nobody else could be your mother but that said woman. Amen. Amen. That's on and so nobody else could be you but you. Yes. And so even if you don't like yourself, God love you. Yes. Amen. Oh, you know, and speak to me again. I said, even sometimes you look at yourself and you wonder, why, what am I living for you? Are you crazy? You're living because of God. Mercy kept you. Yes. And God have a purpose for your life that you got to complete your purpose before you die. Because you got to complete your purpose, then the purpose of God stands sure. Amen. And I love it when Paul said it. It have on this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his and are called according to his purpose. Therefore, then today you could not then nowhere else but in church. Right now, at this time and this hour, nowhere else you could be. Because God already purposed that you should be sitting right in that seat today. Oh yes, I feel something just shift me. You could not sit nowhere else but right where you're sitting. Because before yesterday, you that seat, at that seat you were coming to sit in. God bless you today. We will be bringing down the curtain. Amen. Amen. God bless you today. Uh, God bless you because of the purpose of God I can stand before you today. Amen. And if you so desire, we are worship at 267 Utica Avenue. Gospel way assemble of praise. You are welcome. We preach nothing else but the word of God. And the word of God stands sure and it quick and sharper than any two-edged sword. Amen. And that's the reason why we propagate it. Shall we stand as we pray for those that are watching us live? We are about to bring down the curtain. Is that all right? Father, we thank you for your word, even now, Lord. We exalt you above all gods, for all the gods of the nations are idol, but you are the true and living God, the absolute God, the creator and sustainer of the universe. And today, Lord, we pray for those who are watching us live, that your hands of purpose will stamp approval on their life, and you'll bring somebody to the realization of your love and your mercy. Thank you for your gospel to the Lord. We give you the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name, put your hands together for the Lord. God bless you now. May grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with us now and forevermore. The church agree and said, Amen. Amen. Amen.